The MU2R is a narrowband serial modem from Circuit Design. It operates in the 434 MHz band with 1 mW, 10 mW RF output. It has TX RX terminals. You can configure simple networks and control signal routing. It has forward error correction. The interface is not transparent, you use circuit design protocol. It also has relay function to extend range up to 6 kilometers. By connecting to an external CPU, we can transmit user data using circuit design commands. It complies with EN and ROHS. These are the typical applications for MU2. So Circuit Design sells MU2R evaluation kits, one with RS-232 and another with USB. It has mounted TX and RX LEDs for easy visualization. Evaluation software also included. To control the test boards, we connect to the PC via USB. In practice, both modules would be operated by separate PCs but here we are using a single PC to control both boards. The actual data communication takes place by radio. To establish communication, first we need to assign ID to each module. For example, I can set ID of this module to 0, 01 and this module to ID 02. To send data, I use the command to send it to module with ID 02 by using a destination ID. So first, we select the version of the board we are using, the RS-232 or USB and we click here to connect to both ports. If we have the wrong port selected, we can click here for a list. So when we connect, the module first gives out information about its current settings. To enter, the, to enter a command, we type it in here and click the send button. So we set the ID for this module by entering at EI01. Then we click the send button. After issuing the command, the module always returns an acknowledgement. Now we set the frequency to channel 01. By issuing a command without a value string, the module returns the currently set value. Now we set the other module to have ID of 02. And also set the frequency channel to 01. So to transmit data from module 1 to module 2, we attach the destination ID when we transmit.
For the data to be output from module 02, we will type in at DI02 as the destination ID. So let's say we transmit serial data three characters ABC. First we type in at DT03 and then ABC. The three indicates a data length. So when we transmit we can see the module receives and outputs the data successfully. To confirm operation, the TX LED and the RX LED flashing. The relay function allows you to extend transmission range. Usually one hop gives 600 meters. With the relay we can increase this to maximum 6 kilometers. Once we have another ID set into this module, this module can be used as a relay. The relay can operate without a CPU, only the battery is needed. To use the relay we must include the route information when we transmit. To do this we type R03 then 02 the data will go from 03 and finish at 02. To show that the relay is actually working we can look at its RX and TX LED and it is flashing. The MU2 also features air monitor function which allows you to sweep across the channels and monitor the RSSI. The output here shows a graph of RSSI versus channel. So we set the start and end channels for the sweep. And when we issue at CT on command, this produces a constant carrier which we can see on the on the graph. Also time domain is possible. So by issuing the carrier command again we can see the chart will respond. The air monitor function is useful predicting RF behaviour. We can use the test while walking around a building. For a list of available commands for the MU2R, please visit our webpage.